Hello, Sharp friends and family. This is William. Today we're going to go over some summary sheet markups, bonding, and a couple different items. So we've already bid the job with immense amount of detail, tremendous amount of flexibility. Those are those bid items that we have there. Now I'm going to click on this little icon, which is our summary sheet. And notice now we're tracking that permanent material cost, labor, equipment, rented equipment, trucking, other Again, all flexibility on how these things are coded, but then we have these summaries as well. There's that labor detail with base, burden, benefits. We have the idea with rented equipment, the burden, and fuel. I could come in individually and mark up on the totals or in those details. So if I wanted to, uh, maybe you got to get aggressive on the job with your own equipment. You want to take a 15% on your own equipment, but yet you want to put 5% on the fuel itself. And so leave this fuel at 5% as well. And so notice as we do this and we roll up to the total, it will now show that percentage as an overall total. We also have the total anywhere where there is an, uh, a free white space, open space, I can mark up my material by either percentage or an amount. Let's just say if I want to mark it up $7,500, that markup now is driven to that material. There's plenty of other options in here. We can also load bonds if we want. If I click on bonds and I wanna to go to this sample bonding rate, notice it will automatically populate here. So I hit select and now that bond rate has been populated right there with the bond. We do also have the ability to load predetermined markups that are fully customizable to you. If I want this 5, 10, and 10 markup, I select that. Notice now 5, 10, and 10 markup has been included. If I want to put an overall markup on top of that, let's just say another 10%, that option is there. We do have inside of our options menu, I could allow as a default here, either default to overall markup or allow both. If I select this, it will ask me individual or an overall, I'll leave it canceled now and have those markups. To create a markup that I like that's saved, I can add a new markup here. Um, and just for an example, I'll call this uh, test markup. And so now I have this test markup, I hit OK. The moment I want to hit load, that now test markup is available to all of my users. So that flexibility, real-time, instant users, it could be big job markup, small job markup, paving markup, solar markup, heavy highway markup. Whatever those markup delineations you want, make that extremely easy uh, for you to have that flexibility. We hope that you're having a great day. We thank you for partnering with Sharp. We love you guys. Have a great weekend.